last December, I made a video called Gigantic False Prophecy at Bethel Redding. And it was a very popular video. A lot of people watched it. And here we are, not quite a year later. And I'm going to make an updated version because so much more has happened to prove that this false prophetic word that was given in, in uh, Bethel Church back in 2009, it's even more untrue today than it was when I made the video originally. Here we go. Exhaust me with your blessings. Yeah, that's right. The party will not end. <laughs> prophetic words at Bethel Church in Redding, California are only allowed if they predict positive things. The catastrophic car fire struck Redding, California in July of 2018, nine years after the party that Bill Johnson predicted back in 2009. In the past 11 years, this prophecy has proven itself to be utterly false. Shasta County's coronavirus cases are climbing. As we mentioned earlier, the county saw about two new dozen cases. Uh, Action News Now reporter Anna Torreya breaks down the connection. Shasta County has a big problem right now with a huge surge in coronavirus cases, and that's where Redding, California is. That's what nobody predicted in the Bethel prophecy from 2009. Coronavirus cases continue to surge here in Shasta County. Now, public health says that a majority of these cases are coming from the Windsor Redding Care Center and the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. And the Bethel, and the Bethel School, School of, Supernatural of Supernatural, Supernatural Ministry. Ministry. I, I don't always, um, for whatever reason, I don't always read the words that we get, the prophetic words. Uh, some of them are given publicly. Probably we should do a little better job maybe of making the prophetic words to the house available to you. We'll, we'll try to work on, maybe we can have a private website where we publish all this for Bethel members. <clears throat> um, but this one was given to me this week by Steve Witt. Steve Witt has been a very accurate and faithful prophetic voice, very accurate and faithful prophetic voice to us, a great encouragement to me. Uh, his daughter was a part of our school of ministry for couple years and uh, he was just with us I think last Sunday, Sunday before. Actually, Steve Witt should get his prophetic license revoked, but instead he's the pastor of a big Bethel branch church in Ohio where he sells people courses on how to do the prophetic stuff that he's failing at. For $99, you can learn how to be a false prophet just like Steve Witt. What a deal, huh? Anyway, he wrote this word and, and uh, there's one phrase in here that that helped me to realize I really need to read this to you, even though the whole thing is good for all of us. Um, uh, there was just something that kind of pushed me over the edge. I'll explain it afterwards. 2004, Sundial Bridge was a turning point for Reading and for Bethel. It was a breach in the heavens, a Jacob's ladder. It's as if the enemy could not hold his finger in the dike any longer. The bridge is a symbol of the sons of Issachar. No, the Sundial Bridge is just a big, expensive bridge, but it does look pretty cool. They understood and knew what to do. This is the Reading Anointing, a chief navigator in perilous times. Remember that phrase for your sake, chief navigator in perilous times. So here's what the prophetic word says so far. 2004, Sundial Bridge was a turning point for Reading and for Bethel. It was a breach in the heavens, a Jacob's Ladder. It's as if the enemy couldn't hold his finger in the dike any longer. The bridge is a symbol of the sons of Issachar. They understood and knew what to do. This is the Redding anointing, a chief navigator in perilous times. So it seems like he's combining the Issachar anointing idea with this new Redding anointing. And the gist of it is that there's this special group of people who can see into the future, especially when there's perilous times. Here's a video that Chris Roseborough did about the Issachar anointing or you might have a real knack for sensing things relationally. But did you know in the Bible, there is actually a group of people that had that skill. In the Bible, Jesus actually tells us that we can live differently to... Jesus says we can live differently. What? The rest of the world looks like when it comes to what is coming next. We can live differently than the rest of the world regarding what is coming next. What text says that? I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can watch this whole video from Chris and learn what's wrong with this Issachar anointing idea. Revelation is the natural byproduct, 
Bridge is a sign. Wait, what? Revelation is the natural byproduct. Bridge is a sign. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. Revelation is the natural byproduct. Bridge is a sign. Reading is about to advance quickly as a city, doubling in size. Doubling in size. About to advance quickly. Very accurate. Steve Witt should have said that the next decade is going to be the slowest growth that Reading has seen in a hundred years. Doubling in size. A boom town. That which was the butt of California jokes. Hey. <laughs> Will become a jewel. There's fire. He wants to flow in and through me to change the geography around me. I want to take a moment to point something out. What happened in Reading, or right outside of Reading, in the car fire in July of 2018, this so-called fire NATO, is one of the rarest and most terrifying weather events literally in the history of all weather forecasting, all record keeping about weather events. It's almost unprecedented in all of uh, weather history. Um, let me show you an article about this. California viral fire tornado has scientists searching for answers. Weather geeks went wild last week when the National Weather Service announced that the car fire near Redding, California had spawned the equivalent of an EF3 tornado on July 26. And for good reason. Fire tornadoes are among the rarest weather phenomena on Earth. And this vortex had the added distinction of possibly being the strongest tornado-like thing in California history. Now, I've lived my whole life in the Midwest of the United States, and I've had to deal with tornadoes, and they are terrifying. Any size tornado is terrifying. An EF3 is very severe. It does incredible damage. But that's not what happened in Reading. It was an EF3 tornado combined with up to 2,700 degrees of fire. This was truly horrifying. And some of those tornadoes, they were classifying those as equal to an F3, possibly an F4 tornado that you would see back east. Uh, the only difference is, is they estimated the temperature in these tornadoes to be 2,700 degrees. We'll become a jewel. Where was the Redding anointing that would be the chief navigator in times of peril that Bill Johnson so proudly spoke about in 2009? Nobody saw this coming. It was terrible, it was horrible, and it was not something that anybody predicted. They predicted nothing but good, and they got, so far, nothing but bad. There's fire! I sense that Governor Schwarzenegger will be a key. I saw him coming to Reading, a veil being removed off his face. And fail the people of California. He will see Reading as it is seen by heaven. He will blow a trumpet. <laughs> declare to all of California that Reading is open for business. This will be a turning point and a draw for business in Reading, be a magnetism, as well as attracting national headquarters to the area. Properties will skyrocket. This is the time to buy, to buy and build in Reading. There's fire! And the best metric they've come up with for this kind of event, an EF3 tornado on the Fujita scale. These new companies in the area will love the young, vibrant workforce created from the Bethel culture. And we're learning more about the wicked storm that roared across Shasta County and into Reading last week. A freak of nature, the fire NATO. Bethel will inadvertently become an employment and deployment agency. Ultimately, churches will seek your students, but so will companies. Well, by this time next week, Shasta County will be headed for the state's most restrictive tier in the blueprint for a safer economy, the purple tier. Some people in Reading think it's because of the COVID-19 outbreak among Bethel School of Ministry, BSSM. Bill Johnson says that Jesus is perfect theology, basically meaning that whatever Jesus did is exactly the same thing that we should do. Bill Johnson teaches that we should be bringing heaven to earth. And what he means by bringing heaven to earth is that whatever is permissible and allowable and normal in heaven should also be allowable and permissible and normal on earth. According to the teaching at Bethel, Bill Johnson, Chris Valentin, and all the other leaders should view the coronavirus as the perfect opportunity to give people supernatural evidence that they have the power of God operating in them. But instead, they're doing everything that everyone else is doing. 
They're having to quarantine. They're having to close their doors. They're having to take precautions. Here's the dean of the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry who's trying to put the best possible spin on the embarrassing fact that they aren't healing anybody. I'm Dan Fairley. I'm the dean of the School of Supernatural Ministry, so I kind of get the privilege of leading the first year and the second year and the third year team. So I wanted you to know that uh, we are looking forward to you coming, and we're looking forward, forward to you being safe while you're, while you're with us. Uh, it's going to be an unusual year, a little smaller than usual because COVID. I don't know if you've heard of it, but uh, it's, it's kind of making a, a mess out of things. But our class size is going to be a little smaller than usual. We are treating that as a positive because we're going to be able to have an intimacy in our classes that we haven't had in years and years and years. So that's going to be a real plus. In the weeks ahead, we'll be giving you some instructions about uh, what we expect for you coming. The priority, of course, is safety for you, safety for our staff, and then safety for our city. We are going to be doing social distancing, which, you know, six to ten feet or so. Uh, we're going to be wearing face masks most of the time in class. I prefer the paper. I cheekily start calling everybody doctor now, and we all feel important, so that's great. I also have this more fashionista one that I wear from time to time like for dress-up events. Again, we'll be doing all these precautions with social distancing and wearing our face masks and just keeping each other safe from the transmission of the disease and then uh, just sending an overall message that we're taking care of one another in this environment. So uh, if you come, we're going to be do using lots of uh, the precautions that the county's been asking of us. We're just going to be doing them as well as a student body. So if you have uh, significant health issues like, I don't know, being having a positive COVID test or being sick, <laughs> don't get on the plane. <laughs> Get better and come here when you get a chance, when you're feeling healthy and, and strong. Bethel is the place where the supernatural is natural. At least that's what they say. Why don't they invite all the sick people to come there so they can be healed? They can do a demo right there. Why doesn't this dean of supernatural ministry do some supernatural ministry? Also, we are staying connected on the most recent regulations. We're waiting for some more insight from the state of California. Uh, in talking with our county officials, we've got, uh, we are learning to pivot and pivot and pivot again. It's like an NBA basketball game happening here, <laughs> or like fabulous ballet, whichever metaphor works for you. But we are uh, constantly kind of trying to move to adapt to what's happening to keep everybody safe. So we're staying on top of regulations. And so, again, just in reiterating, uh, your safety is absolutely important, as is ours, uh, the safety of our city. And all to this end of God being glorified by your life as a revivalist and uh, all that you're going to learn, all that you're going to deposit because you're carrying something we need in this environment as well. So look forward to seeing you checking my watch, my fake watch, in just a couple of weeks, really, maybe maybe a month or so. It depends on it. But you're coming. We're going to have a great time together. I look forward to it. I'll see you then. It's the living witness of having a theology that we can't demonstrate that speaks against us. I also said that commuter flights from Sacramento to Reading would soon be offered. I believe within two years, but I'm not clear on that. It will be a sign that a new level is emerging. Watch for the name of the airline. I sense it will have a prophetic meaning. Maybe they could call it totally wrong airlines. Finally, I wrote a prayer on the morning of Sunday last while in Reading. I submitted as it is a prayer. I bless you with Reading. I uh, bless you, Reading, with revelation from heaven. By that you may see a salve for salvation. Let the light of God shine upon you and the river of sacrament flow through you. May you understand the times and know what to do. You are a sundial in the spirit. His light will cause you to heal the past, comprehend the present, and interpret the future. Reveal your secrets. Tell us all. He has given you eyes to see and will establish you as a think tank. Think, 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 think. A think tank. Think, think. You are a place that brings understanding, <clears throat> and many will enter in and find rest. Like a fire in me. Abraham's, Isaac's, and Jacob's will dwell in harmony in this place, multiple generations. There will be a place for all to dwell, and your second generation will inhabit the land and conquer its giants and cities. Very accurate. I have hidden you for a reason, but not for long. I have hidden you for a season, but not for long. Well, Bethel is not hidden anymore. Its false teaching, lack of healing, and extra-biblical fortune-telling has been exposed like never before. National Business Headquarters will be drawn here. Writing will shine like a city of hope. Do not fear. Open the door. 
as you open this earthly door, my heavenly door will exhaust you with my blessing. Anybody ready to be exhausted? Oh, I'm ready to be exhausted. Exhaust me with your blessings. That's right. Exhaust me with your blessings. That's right. Bethel made national headlines in 2019 by loudly proclaiming that they would raise a two-year-old girl, whose mother is a famous Bethel singer, back to life, but had to finally bury the child's decomposing body after a week of meaningless declarations. So we say arise. We say arise in Jesus' name. We say arise up. Resurrection power in Jesus' name. Fill your body. Fill your body right now in Jesus' name. Olive was not raised from the dead. We shouldn't blame God, but we should scrutinize and reject this faulty theology. Exhaust me with your blessings. Redding understood the times and knew what to do. There's five statements. This is a time for hospitality. This is a time to buy. Once again, please, please evacuate everyone and, and stay safe. Have a good night. This is a time to learn deeper in the spirit. This is a time for deep relationships. The party will not end. The party will not end. Oh, that's a good word. Exhaust me with your blessings. What text says that? 